Hi guys, it's Laura here and today I'm going to be using the Cricut Explore 3 to show you how to make three different projects. I'm a teacher by trade so these are all ideas for resources and decorations for your classroom. Cricut recently launched their Cricut Your School campaign so hopefully these ideas can help inspire your entry for your local school. If you enter you go into the running to win a 5k prize pack for your school. You can find more details in the link below this video. For the first project I'm using the Explore 3, the Light Grip Mat, regular cardstock and the Cricut Smart Paper Sticker Card Stop. I'm just looking through the Cricut Images Library to find the different pictures I want for the alphabet card. The Images Library is such a great resource. You can literally find whatever you're looking for in there. And I'm just scrolling through and finding the ones that suit what I'm after. And then picking this shape to be my actual um, flashcards. So just duplicating that for however many I need and then doing the ABCs. Picking the font I want, I ended up going with the font Arial Rounded MT Bold. I'm using the blue light grip Cricut mat because I find that works the best with cardstock and just laying that down, making sure it's nice and stuck down. The Explore 3 cuts two times faster than the earlier model, the Explore Air 2, and you really can notice how much quicker than it is. It's amazing. cardstock sticker paper was so easy to use and I love how they turned out. Next up is some labelled pencil buckets. So I found a pencil image from the image library again and I'm just writing ready to write for the first bucket and then please sharpen for the second bucket so your students can put them in depending on what they need. Picking the fonts I want for these I decided on the Cricut font porch chair. This is one that I go for often because I just think it's so cute. And then for the other words, I chose the font blueberry pancakes because I think it's really pretty and they just looked really nice together. Then I changed the color to make them all the same and attached them. I'm using this pretty pink smart vinyl. And lastly, I'm going to be doing a kindness quote for the classroom to remind students of the importance of kindness and to motivate them to continue being kind to one another. So I've just gotten this shape from the shape section and changing it to white because that's the color of the cardstock I'll be using and then duplicating for as many letters as I need. 
The quote I've chosen is kindness can move mountains and I'm just playing around with the different fonts deciding on one that I like. I decided to use the Cricut writing feature for the words can move and then kindness mountains is going to be the font phosphor. So just changing the colour of each of the letters so that we've got a bit of a rainbow effect going on. Using this gorgeous aqua colour for our Cricut pen to write the words can move. I just love the writing feature on the Cricut. I'm always so impressed by it. For someone who doesn't really like their own handwriting, it's so handy. A little tip so you don't bend your cardstock is to peel the mat away from the card rather than the card from the mat. Smart Paper Sticker Cardstock is probably my favourite material by Cricut. It just makes making banners and posters and letters for bulletin boards or just quotes in your classroom so easy. You literally just peel and stick. You don't have to worry about gluing anything down and it just makes the whole process so quick. <laughs> 